Hi, I'm Pam and I'll be your guide as we look at adding people to a process queue. The goal of a process is to automate many of the tasks you do at church. The first step of getting people into your process is just as important as the process itself. Let's take a look at how to make these steps as easy as possible. Once a process is set up, there are four ways to add people into a queue. It is important to note that a person must have a profile within your site to be placed in a queue. Therefore, the assumption is that you have already determined the best way to enter the person's information into the system if it is not already there. The first way to add people to a process is from a person's profile. When you open the profile, the action list on the right has the add to a process queue link if you have sufficient admin privileges. You must have limited read-write privileges to add a person to any process queue. However, if you are the process manager, you can still add people to your own process with just the limited read privilege. When you select a process, you can choose which queue or queues to add them to and even assign a queue manager and leave a note for that manager. A second way to add a person to a process queue is from a save search. Here again, you need at least limited read write to add people to a process queue from a safe search. Once you have the search results, on the right, select the add to a process queue link. You can only add them to a single queue. Select the queue and click do mass add. All the people in the search will be added to the queue. A third method of adding people to a process queue is from the queue itself. If you are a process manager or a queue manager, you can open the queue and click the add a person to this queue button on the right. You may type and enter as many names as you wish. You can also assign each person to a queue manager and leave a note for that manager. The last method for adding people to a process is from a forms automation. Within a form, you have two types of automation. The first is form level automation, which can be set in the form settings tab. With this automation, anyone who fills out the form will trigger the automation and be put into the process. Remember, a person's entry must be matched for the automation to occur. The second type of automation is question level automation. With this level, you tie the process to a specific answer so that only people who give a certain answer are added to the process. There you have it, adding people to a process. The key with the four methods is to determine the best way of adding people to the process you created. Some processes may only need one method of adding people, while other processes can utilize multiple methods. For more information on process cues, see our other videos and help articles. Thank you.